we are living in an era of AI. No matter what the sector is, no matter what your department is, there has to be one AI tool that can do your job and sometimes it can even do that better. Just like those sectors, a very prominent sector where the use of AI has increased massively is content writing. And if I'm being honest, as a writer, I have to say the content that you can get from some AI tools are really good. But the problem is when you write with these AI tools, sometimes people are not going to accept that article it could be because of the AI content detectors these detecting tools are super effective when it comes to detecting AI content if you want to avoid that I have just the right tool that is called GPT INF and currently we are on their website so as you can see all you have to do is paste your text in a box and then GPT INF will come up with another text and this text is not going to be detected by any AI content detectors so yes you can call this tool a paraphrasing tool if you want to buy this tool, this is the best time because GPT INF is available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. So you only have to pay $19 and you will get lifetime access to this tool. And keep in mind you are saving 80% of your money if you buy GPT INF from AppSumo. Now let's have a look at the features. So here are the features and all the plans that you will get from this lifetime deal. So the plan 1 costs $19 and the word limit is 10,000 per month plan 2 38 dollars with 30,000 words and plan 3 57 dollars with 60,000 words there are also some more codes so if you buy the highest code which is plan 7 you can paraphrase over 250k words per month so if you want to buy this app so model make sure you check the link in the description below and I'm going to show you a very important thing here so as you can see this is the FAQ section and on here there is a question what happens if I get detected which means the content that you paraphrase using GPT INF if it is detected to be written by an AI by any AI content detector what will happen in that case and I really like the answer the founder is saying that we will refund you the full amount without questions being asked which means you will get a full refund if any AI content detector can detect your content as AI content so that's a bold move I have to say GPT INF also has subscription plans so you can also increase the words on here after you log in to GPT INF, you will get this page and on this box you have to paste your text or your content and then you have to click on get result. So now let's try to create a content using an AI and then we are going to run that content through different AI content detectors and if the content is detected to be written by an AI, we are going to come back to this GPT INF and try to refresh it from here and then also test the results. So as you can see currently we are in a very popular AI tool called creator.ai this used to be a very popular AI content writing software so I have already generated a blog using it the title is how to stay fit so now let's copy a portion of this article so I'm going to copy till the fourth point and time to visit the AI content detectors so the first AI content detector is AI text classifier and if you didn't know this tool is built by OpenAI themselves so let's paste our blog in this box and now click on submit so as you can see the classifier is saying the text is likely to be AI generated now let's test on another tool and currently we are in zpt zeros website and if you didn't know this one is pretty popular and most people consider GPT-0 to be very accurate in detecting AI content so let's paste our content and then click on get results as you can see your text is likely to be written entirely by AI so once again GPT-0 is also saying the same thing as AI text classifier from OpenAI that this content is written by an AI now let's go to another tool so this tool is named Crossplag and if you are a writer you may already know this tool because this is a pretty popular tool for checking plagiarism and recently they have also added the feature of detecting AI content it is currently in beta so let's try this one paste our text and then click on check and as you can see once again Crossplag is also saying the text is mainly written by an AI and the probability is 100% so considering all of these tools all these three tools are saying the same thing that this content is written by an AI it is safe to say that we can paste this content on GPT INF so here is our content and now let's try to refresh our content using GPT INF and see if the AI content detectors can detect the content so click on get results 
so finally we have got our results but one issue i have noticed is that this gpt inf is quite slow it took a lot of time and in the first try we couldn't get any results it kept on loading and loading so we once again pasted the article and then tried to create results and finally we are here so as you can see this is the refreshed text generated by gpt inf and they have also included originality ai score so it is 0.013 and gpt0 score is 0 so let's see if it is actually true or not so once again we are in ai text classifier and let's remove this text and paste the new text as you can see this is our new text let's remove this now let's click on submit and as you can see now the classifier considers the text to be unlikely to be AI generated let's go to gpt0 and remove this text paste our new text this is our new text and click on get results and gpt0 is also saying that the text is likely to be written entirely by a human now let's try the last tool so let's remove the text and then paste our new text click on check and as you can see the probability of this content to be AI written is 0% cross flag is saying that this text is mainly written by a human so although gpt inf is pretty slow but their claim is absolutely right after you paste a text they are going to refresh the text in a way that can outsmart the ai content detectors and it is fully proven on this video so overall i think gpt inf is an excellent tool when you write content using ai a lot of the times you cannot use this content it could be because of your client it could be because some people are saying that this content is very generic so in that case you can use gpt inf this is going to make sure your text is meaningful but also the words the sentences the structures are changed as a result ai content detectors won't be able to identify that your article is written by an ai so if you want to buy this app deal, make sure you check the link in the description below these are the plans that you can buy from appsumo so that's it for our today's video i hope you have found the video to be helpful if you do make sure to like this video share it and subscribe to our channel for more content like this